Today we're going to learn how to transform this into this. So you can bring music from the internet written for guitar with lyrics and chords and play it on the piano or keyboard. First of all, we're going to try to understand the C major scale, which gives us the uh, most important chords that usually you play on the guitar. And then from there, we're going to try to understand how we build the chords. For example, uh, the C, where is the C on the piano? Uh, for those who don't know, if you have uh, the pattern of two, three black keys, two black keys, three black keys, two black keys, then we just take any two black keys here and we find the C is on the left here. So we know that this is C, so now we work out the rest of the notes. C, D, E, F, G, A, B and C. So now you know that the, uh, these are the name of the notes for those who don't know. Okay, now we're going to create the first chord based on C. That's why we're going to call it C major. We're going to skip one note. We're going to skip, uh, and we play this one. We're going to skip another note, and we're going to play the next one. And that, my friends, is the C major chord. Okay, we're going to do the same with D. I'm going to skip one note, and I'm going to skip another note, and I'm going to build a chord. This is not D major, I'm afraid. I wish it was easier, but this not. This is not D major, this is D minor, and I'm going to explain you why later. Okay, I take E, I skip one, and I skip another one, and I create another chord that is E minor. E is not E major, it's E minor. So I'm going to take F, I'm going to skip one note, skip another note, and this is F major. It's not F minor, if F major is confusing later, I'm going to explain that. Then I have here G, I skip one note, skip another note, and I have here G major. I take A, I skip one note, skip another note, and I create that is A minor. This is not A major, it's, it's A minor. Then I take this one here, which is B, skip one note, skip another note, and I have here, this is neither major or minor, this is called diminished. And later I'm going to explain why. But now, let's go back to C major. Now, if I, if I study the structure of this chord, then I can work out the most difficult major chords anywhere. On the key on the keyboard so we uh, this is how we're going to do we have C here and this is going to be the next note I'm going to count how many keys I need to get here one two three four and then the next note is going to be here and how many keys do I need to get here one two three so I've got the structure four and three and I built a C major but that structure is for all the major chords. For example, I take this odd note, for example, F sharp, and we count one, two, three, four, and then from here, one, two, three, and here, I have a major F sharp. Okay, let's go to the next one. And we said that the, this one does minor chords. Then from there, we're going to copy the structure so we can translate it to any key. So here, we go D, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Wow, this is the other way around. It's a three, four. Uh, and the major chord was four, three. In the minor, it's three, four. So we go, uh, here we have a minor chord, D minor. Let's see, if I go here, and I count one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, oh, 
here I have a minor chord. So we learned already to do a major and a minor chord anywhere on the keyboard. All right, but we said also that this, this was a diminished chord. Okay, we might work, just anticipate a bit and learn to do a diminished chord. I'm going to take this E here, uh, sorry, this B here, and I'm going to take it here, and I'm going to do the same. It sounds the same, but just one octave down. Now I'm going to uh, see what the structure is for this. One, two, three, one, two, three. So, three, three gives you what we call a diminished chord, and I can take that to anything, for example here, one, two, three, one, two, three, and that's going to sound diminished. In order to make it easier for us to write the music, I'm using this uh, system of uh, multi-line in which you can buy a notebook with blank paper to write your uh, experiments in it and also your chords and uh, make a dictionary of chords for the piano for yourself on it. Here's the name and you can find it in Amazon. Now suppose I have a song that goes from C to F and then to G major and then comes back. Then um, if I play it in the piano just like that it sounds a, a bit like a empty so that is because we are missing a bass something that we had to do with the left hand. We need to find the correct note to play on the bass so it goes along with the chord. For example I do C major, F major and G major so if I how to think of a note for the bass, I just think of, if this is a C major, then the main note of that chord will be C. That's very easy, isn't it? So we go C, and then I go to F major, I'm going to play with F on the bass here. And then here I go to G, and obviously I'm going to play G there. So it's going to be You can also there to uh, double the bass For example, instead of playing one C here Just play this C and this C together, for example And then when I play F I play F here and F here And then when I play G I play G here and G here. That's very simple. That's going to sound like this. Then we can also use it with a minor chord, for example. That is, sounds really, really boring. I can start experimenting with new textures. For example, I can play one bass here every time I play four here, for example. And then I can go to any other chords, for example. E minor. F major, G major, some people call that texture, representing what you do with the hands, so that can be extended to things like, for example, instead of playing all the notes at the same time, I play I can go or 
would you experiment? Or if you are comfortable managing the pedal of the piano, the sustained pedal, you can do something. Now we're going to talk about voicing. Imagine if I play this. I can improve this by taking the job of changing the position of the notes. For example, I've got this is C major, this is F major, but if you look at F major well, you see that there is a C here. Why not playing that C here? So I play this. There is a principle in when you study harmony that you had to learn to move the voices as little as possible. So if I have this here, Instead of going here, I keep that C here and I get this. And then I will go to G major. No, I'm going to take that D and I'm going to put it here. And then I go to C major again. Now look at how little I move in this hand. The bass can move as much as it wants because the bass is not matter if it jumps a lot. This part of a piano, the right hand of a piano, chords had to try not to move so much. For example, okay, and I even can create even more because this. I'm playing this B here, this B, the leading note, is asking, this note is asking to go to C. So, I come to play one C at the beginning, <clears throat> and a different C at the, at the end, because I go to pass this C here, so I satisfy the listener by taking the B that was in G major and I take it up to C. So this is what I'm going to do. C, F, G and then a different structure for the C. So this is going to sound which is much better than Now we're going to travel through the most uh, used chords in guitar. We already talked about C major. We can also uh, talk about D minor, is well used in guitar, D major. Remember, it's always following the structure. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, and then you have D major. I put the bass always on D here. Uh, another chord very much used is the E minor, which I already show you but also the major, the E major in guitar is very, very common. The F major is, although it's a bit difficult to build on the guitar because you need bar, you need to cross the finger on the guitar like that. Uh, but F major is also a, a very important chord and you already talked about that. Then we have uh, the G major. In the piano we can also do it like this. 
A minor and very very much used in guitar is the A major which is here like that now to do the B I'm going to move here to the other B we said that this was a diminished B um, we don't actually use it every time in the guitar, just occasionally, but we are more interested in the B minor, which is very much used in the guitar, which is like, it's built like that. Why? Because it's obviously, it's a minor chord. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. And I play the bass on B, obviously. And also very much used in guitar is the uh, B major, which is here. If you, for example, see the major chord, the major chord is represented with a capital letter and nothing else. For example, C is just a C, C capital letter, that is the C major chord that we already talked about. We're going to do everything based on C and you have to be able to translate everything into other keys. For example, C and you know the major chord is, the structure is four, four, three. Four, three. That is a C major chord. Now let's go to the C minor chord, which the structure is, as you know, three, four. One, two, three. Sorry, I couldn't just start again. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. So this is C minor. So when you have a C minor in the, uh, in the in any song that you're playing, you have to play this one. And obviously the bass here. The C minor is always represented with a C uppercase and an M lowercase or any minor chord uh, has the letter of the note for example D and an M then uh, lowercase. Um, then we have uh, something like it's called the C sixth because it's got what in uh, interval uh, jargon is called a sixth, but we're not going to go into that. But uh, I'm going to tell you how to build a chord. This is a C six. And how do we build this? It's just the structure of the uh, major chord one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and then I add one, two, so it's four, three, two. That is the structure of a C sixth, a C seven chord, <clears throat> which we are going to build from uh, obviously C. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three. That is a seventh chord and it's expressed like C seven, like that. C seven. Okay, I want to bring another chord which is a C is called C major 7. Don't confuse it with the C7 because the C major 7 structure is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. That is the C major 7, which is different from the C7, which is structure is a, a 4, 3, 3.
Now we're going to talk about chord inversion. Uh, in guitar, the inversion of the chords are represented in this way, with the name of a chord and a bar, and then another note. That note tells us where the bass is going to be. That means that not always the bass is in the uh, main note of a chord. For example, we know that this is C major and the bass is usually in C. Not always, not always. The bass could be in another note of a chord. For example, here. This is E and this is C major and I'm going to play and then I can also get the uh, bass on the other note of a chord, which is here. So when you see, when you see that the chord has a bar and then a note, you just need to find uh, the note. For example, this is a, a, a uh, D major slash F sharp, that means that I'm going to do the D major as always, and I'm going to put my bass on F sharp. 